you. Welcome. The Lord bless you so much. We kindly, we will kindly welcome you to join us today in this special program of the Word of God as we reach out to you with a message from the mouth of God. I'm Bishop Peter Gatimo from Apostolic Faith Church, Nairobi. I love Christ. He is my Savior. He is my comforter. He is my strength. My identity is Christ. My level of strength is Christ. My righteousness is Christ. My faith is Christ. Everything is Christ. And I'm saying that Paul, in Philippians chapter 3, verse 10, I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection. That is a standard that he offered, the standard of his power. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter, uh, chapter 6, and you go to verse 10, the Bible says, uh, be strong in the power of God's might. Ephesians chapter 6 and uh, verse 10. The Bible says something very unique. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord, not in the level of your strength, not in the level of your ability, but in the power of his might. And therefore, we thank God for you all. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube, trusting that you will invite so many people to such a blessing. I would like to share with you a message. And before we do that, let's pray. Father, let the blood of your covenant cover me and cover all the recipients of your word. Let your word be performed now so that all people will know you are speaking. In Christ we pray. Our topic today is how to identify the seasons of God. Identifying God's seasons. Identifying God's season. If you check the Bible, you will notice that Bible or is a record of an experience, a record of God's doings. In Genesis chapter 1, uh, verse 14, the Bible says, And God said, Let there be light in the firmament of the heavens to divide the days from night and let them be for signs and seasons and for days and years. God created the systems. God created life in a way that it will dictate it will guide us into days and nights. The Lord says it will cause us to have day, and the day will be separate from night. And there will be signs and seasons. And therefore, in Jesus' name, I would like you to know that you are living a life that has days distinct from night, half seasons, half seasons that God has designed. And therefore, as we share about how do you identify the seasons of God, it's important to know God is God of seasons. It's clear about that, and the Lord you truly, truly bless us. God of seasons. If you go to Daniel chapter 2, verse 29, 21. Daniel chapter 2, verse 21. The Bible says something. Daniel chapter 2, verse 21. Then these men were bowed in their coats, their trousers. Mm -hmm. Let's go right there. That is chapter, that is chapter 2, sorry. Chapter 2, verse 20, 21. 
chapter 2 verse 21. Let's start from 20. Blessed be the name of God forever and ever. He removes kings and raises up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. He reveals deep the secret things. He knows what is in darkness and light dwells with him. Hallelujah. Now, the Bible says God interferes and his interference with life results to changes. For instance, if he changes times and seasons. I say to you, my brother, God says he is responsible and he changes times and seasons. And, and he can influence changes. Bible says he can remove king and raise another one. Now, that's very important. As we worship the Lord, let us be open to the changes that he can bring. He can remove one and raise another one. He can change the times and the seasons. That's very important to know. God is God of seasons. If you go to Ezekiel chapter 45. Ezekiel chapter 45. The Bible says something very important there. Mm -hmm. Then it shall be the prince's part to give the prince part to give burnt offerings, grain offerings, and drink offerings at the feast of new moons, the Sabbaths, and at all and at all the appointed seasons of the house of Israel. Another thing that I would like us to notice, God has what he calls appointed seasons. And it's important, any nation, any settings, any, any family, any leader of the family, like me, I'm a leader of a family. You are a leader of a family. To understand the appointed seasons, oh, hallelujah, of your family. I give God praise. He will not allow your family to live without appointed seasons. This is a season to raise my daughters and my sons. It is appointed and I can perceive it. This is a season to build my marriage and to make it have a foundation. This is the season for me to attain a degree, a certain level of education. This is a season for me now to establish a standard for my life. This is a season for me to acquire assets and make sure I'm doing it properly. And that's what I'm saying by the grace of God. I would like to pray for you today. For God has raised you to live in a progressive manner. And in that progressive way of living, can you now, by God's grace, not waste time. You are living at an appointed season of God, which you should discern. I say you are living at an appointed season of God, which you should discern and articulate very well. Satan is evil. He wants to deceive and confuse you. He wants you to, be, to have doubt. He wants you to be diverted. But any man or woman who failed to utilize the appointed seasons of God, they end up being frustrated, being not useful, and living a defeated life. Look at any man at the age of 50 years old 
and never, never discerned the appointed seasons of life from the time he was a teenager. They end up becoming diffused, somehow not useful. That brother of yours, he failed to marry in the right way at the right time. The appointed season for educating his children, he failed. The appointed season for acquiring property, he never noticed that. Now, when you grow older and you notice, I, I was not able to function fully in appointed seasons of God in my life. You feel frustrated? And because God cannot repeat seasons, you don't even have some seasons correspond to a specific level of strength. Do you know, if you grow old and you fail to be active in your gift at a specific season, and because the gift corresponds with the age, the gift and its performance correspond with the strength, there's a time you God cannot repeat the season because of the condition of your body. Today you cannot rise up and run across. Your body cannot allow. Neither can God repeat the appointed season that was meant for you when you are a strong man or a woman. You can't be in menopause and you want to give birth now to strong babies. God, unless at a very special redemptive purpose, cannot repeat that. And therefore, in the name of Jesus, I now command you, arise for any stage of life has an appointed season that corresponds to that stage and to the physical and spiritual strength that you have at that stage. I rebuke Satan. I rebuke all wickedness. I rebuke sin out of your life. I rebuke confusion and fear. And I commit you to your appointed season. I say to you now, God has appointed season. They could be three. They could be four. And every season has its own strength and the age that corresponds to it. God cannot come around just because you never prayed. Just because you never obeyed when you were 30 years ago, ago, old. God cannot come around when you are 68 years old and tell you, I'm going to use you eh, to build a very big church and to preach all over the world. God knows you are growing towards retirement. He, can, he, he can't. If you are now 70 years old, 80 years old, you can't rise up and tell us, I'm going to plant a big church. The time for that is far gone. And even the Holy Ghost knows you are old. And therefore, don't waste time again. Please utilize the appointed seasons for your life in specific stages of strength and age that God has given you. I release this blessing on you. Receive it and be quickened. Now, now, arise for season that you have now. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen.